There's a lot of different skills we end up using on a daily basis. Probably the most important one is engineering problem solving. You know, when we've got something that doesn't work the way it's supposed to, we've got to diagnose and troubleshoot the system so that we can figure out what's broken, what's wrong, how to get it back up and running again. Along with that, there's instrumentation and data acquisition. People will come to us and ask us to test something that we haven't tested before, so we've got to figure out the right way to do it so we can get them the data that they need. From the carbon sequestration perspective, you can do two things. One is climate science, basic climate research, but the other one is you can do enhanced oil recovery. And so it applies to national security, uh, mostly because it's energy security and sort of energy assurance for the future. We do a lot of testing that supports nuclear security from creating models and databases for the nuclear waste repositories to dealing with nuclear storage to doing hydrofracking experiments to support energy security all the way to responding to disasters. We worked on kill solutions for Deepwater Horizon when we had the giant leak in the Gulf of Mexico. We're a, a resource for the government to say, how do we fix this? We're funded by the government. We're working for the national interest. What's best for America? I would describe it as a multidisciplinary, multi-scale facility. Our geomechanics uh, department is able to do a lot of unconventional testing that's not done anywhere else. We can test things at the conditions at which they would exist in nature. You're not going to dig a tunnel 10 miles down to test things in place, and so if we can simulate it in a lab, that's really helpful. With more of an industry research lab, you wouldn't have the kind of collaboration opportunities that you do here. I'd kind of describe the setup as almost sort of a, a hybrid between academics and kind of what you'd expect for a typical industry. In our labs, we have very many highly configurable load frames and testing suites that we can design to fit a specific purpose. We also have an imaging and additive manufacturing lab where we can create 3D printed rocks or 3D printed materials to simulate what a rock would be and do testing on those. I think the National Lab uh, has a role to improve this fundamental understanding of the processes and that can be really contribute to developing technology uh, which can be really used in practice. We're looking at things like nuclear waste disposal, uh, clean coal, clean carbon, better means of extracting oil and natural gas from the earth. So taking the existing technologies and making them more efficient. More than 70% of energy comes from fossil and related resources. So it's really critical to understand what may happen during energy related uh, activities in the subsurface. I really enjoy this uh, challenging uh, problem developing uh, new capabilities, improving our understanding. The thing that drew me here is, is that I can work on problems that really matter. I really enjoy that, being able to do work that has an impact, where you can see this is leading to something, this does something, this is going to change and improve something.